Well, hey y'all, and welcome to the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. I'm Susan, your hostess. I'm going to do a what I call an MRE in a jar, a ready to eat meal uh, type situation. But this is going to be a bread recipe. This would be a good, good uh, prepping on a budget type uh, meal. It's also a pantry filler. I could come up with all kinds of terminology for this, but I wanted to let you know that. There is a hashtag POB challenge put on by Bushcraft family out there, so they might want to add this to their playlist. I'm going to plug them because I really like this idea. So I, I've been looking at an onion roll mix that I could put in jars, and I want um, a recipe that I can multiply out to do at least six quart jars or 12 pint jars. Um, the recipe I came across uh, will do 12 rolls and it's just for one jar so I didn't want to do just one jar so I'm going to do a multiple recipe or a bulk recipe for you and I've already done all the multiplication out we're going to put it together but I'm going to tell you the ingredients at the beginning so grab you a pen and paper stop the video right here and make sure that you are writing down the ingredients. So for six quart jars, you're gonna need one and a half cups of onion flakes, 20 cups of flour, 12 tablespoons of sugar or three and uh, three quarter cup, six tablespoons of powdered milk or one quarter cup. Um, the recipe calls for a lot of salt. I'm cutting back on the salt and I'm only using one and a half tablespoons of salt for this bulk recipe. Um, one teaspoon of parsley and it doesn't call for chives but I'm going to be adding chives in this as well. Um, and you would need four and uh, four point five tablespoons of uh, fast acting yeast. You will um, Put these in a jar and you will seal, vacuum seal the jars or you'll put the oxygen, well you won't put an oxygen absorber in there because it contains sugar. Uh, you want to vacuum seal these. Uh, you're going to combine your ingredients. Now if you have the packets, um, yeast packets, um, you're going to use uh, one package per jar so that would be six packages. Um, let's see what else I can tell you. Uh, you're going to mix this with one and an eighth cup of warm water along with one tablespoon of oil or butter that's softened. Uh, it will yield 12 rolls. You will bake this for three, at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes. This is an MRE in a jar type recipe that you could put in your bug out bag so you could have some bread on hand. You can actually bake these in a cast iron uh, Dutch oven or a covered skillet on a fire. Or you can take some of the coals and put on top and bottom and create an oven. So that's my tips for you. That's the recipe. We're going to get it all mixed up. So let's get in here and get it done. So I have some flour that I have had stored since 2022. I want to use it up. And I know that this is eight cups of flour, so we're going to start by dumping these jars. I've got a bunch of bay leaves in here I need to get out. Uh, you want to use a bread flour if you have it. I've got some bread flour and the rest of this is self-rising, but you can use an AP flour, whatever you have on hand. So that's eight cups of flour right there. And
The reason I put bay leaves in there is it keeps any insects from hatching that might be in there, in your flower. So that is 16 cups of flour. You don't want to breathe in all that dust. And then I have some King Midas Durham flour, which is good for uh, making pastas and breads. So I'm going to use this. This is four cups, so this will make my 20 cups of flour. You want to make sure you have a big enough bowl to do all of this in. And so I'm just going to dump that in there. And I'm just going to break that up with my hands a little bit. Grab me a towel, wipe my hands with. Next, we are going to put in three quarter cups of sugar. So I've measured out three quarters of a cup of sugar. I'm just going to sprinkle this over the top of my flour. We're going to get this all incorporated here in a moment. Um, Next, we're going to add in our powdered milk. We need a quarter cup of powdered milk. So I've got my powdered milk here. This is actually a whole milk powder that I buy. I buy it in bulk. One and a half teaspoons of salt. Or one and a half, one half tablespoon. You can call it either one of that, um, which is perfectly fine. I don't think we need that much salt in it, so we're just going to go with a lighter version with less salt. Uh, one tablespoon of parsley. And I'm actually going to put more than one tablespoon in. This is a lot of a mix. I'm thinking... Because I like parsley, and parsley is very good, healthy for you. Maybe three tablespoons of parsley. So we got three tablespoons of parsley there. I've got some scallions I need to use up. These are from 2021. So I'm going to get these out of here. This is an eight ounce jar. That's about four ounces or a half a cup of scallions. So I'm just gonna sprinkle those in there. And we need four and a half tablespoons of yeast. So I'm going to do three and then I'm going to use my half tablespoon. So this is, no, three and a half tablespoons would be, okay. So I'm going to do four of these. Four. And I'm going to use my half tablespoon. I'm going to get a big spoon down. We're going to start mixing this, get it all incorporated, and we're going to get it jarred up. Try not to make too much dust as you're doing this because it is dusty. It's all dry ingredients. But the idea is to get everything mixed together. Did I add? Oh, I forgot to add my onions. I need one and a half cups of onion flakes. And these are onions that I actually dehydrated and ground up to make them into onion flakes. So I almost forgot the most important ingredient in this. So here we go. We're mixing it all in. It smells amazing, y'all. This is going to be such a good bread to have on the pantry shelf or in your bug out bags. You can actually put this into a Mylar bag if you want to. 
um, and you want to have something that you can mix it in and something to bake it in. And you also need to have some kind of fat content. Now I could put powdered butter in this. Uh, I think I have some on my shelf. I just didn't think to grab it. But you could absolutely add your powdered butter to this. It would be an excellent ingredient to add. And I think I've got it pretty much mixed up. So we're going to go from here. Just looking to make sure I've got everything mixed up. And we are ready to put it in the jars. Okay. So I've set up 12 pints because I'm not going to put mine into quart jars. And I'm going to uh, fill my jars up. Then I'm going to tamp them down and try to get as much of this flour into the jars as possible. Uh, you, it goes to your food saver, or you can use the little handheld pump one. Um, they work really good to seal your lids. Excuse my noise, y'all. Now, uh, you would apply your lids, your flats. Make sure you don't have any debris on top. Put your food saver attachment over this. And seal your jar. So that one don't look too good. And I'm using reused canning lids that are decent. They're decent. Because you want them to seal. And then once you have them sealed, you can put your bands on here. Uh, you want to label your jars. And it is uh, mix your, add your mix, your yeast, your onion to one and one eighth cup of warm water if you're doing a full size quart. Um, along with one tablespoon of oil or melted butter, softened butter. You want to knead your dough, allow it to rise two rises I would say and it will yield 12 rolls you can bake at 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes 
So this is a bread in the jar. It is a pantry filler. It is an MRE in a jar. Um, many, many different labels. It is a POB challenge piece. Uh, this is a prep, prepping on a budget. So this is a great way to put bread on the pantry shelf and you're not going to bake it in the jar, but you are going to store it in the jar. You can also store these in Mylar bags, whatever you have. Uh, if you were in a bug out situation, you would grab one or two, put it in your bug out bag, take it with you, have your ingredients, uh, not your ingredients, but what you're to do to prep this, to get it ready to bake. And you could probably even make this into um, bread if you needed to. Thank you, friends, for watching, and may you be fully blessed.